You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And today, we have a true honor talking to our special guest, Zona Mazzano. She has an amazing new book coming up, Cuban. And she is well known. And I just want to say, first of all, it's an honor talking to you this morning. How are you doing, ma'am? Well, thank you, Shamaya. It's nice to be here. I'm happy to talk to you. And this amazing book is all about four main characters, but it's about stories and stories that bring hope and it affirms our identities and it teaches us to connect with people. Tell us what inspired you to do your research and to write this amazing piece for, for this project. Well, thank you, uh, and I'd love to. It's kind of a funny little story. I was at a party, and an American citizen told me that his family had a chicken farm in Cuba in 1959, and when Castro took over, they had to skedaddle out of Cuba really quickly, and they had to leave the chicken farm and all their belongings, and they even had to leave the family dog. And I thought to myself, oh, how sad. And then he said... No worries, the dog showed up in a boat in Miami a couple of months later, and we were reunited. I thought that was really an interesting and funny and quirky story, and I thought it would make a nice little picture book from the dog's point of view of finding their, his family. When I did a little more research about what went on in, in Cuba at that time to kind of round out this very 30-page picture book that I had in mind uh, about a dog. Uh, I found out so many other things that happened to people. I found out that some uh, of the rebels, the idealistic rebels, were shortly after uh, arrested by Castro and taken out of the picture, and that separated families, and they left. I learned about the Operation Pedro Pan program where 14,000 Unaccompanied minors were sent to Miami in the hopes that the Americans would come in and, and settle things and their kids wouldn't get indoctrinated. And then I started to think, well, if those people had the capacity to live, what happened to kids who had, could not leave? So I wanted to learn about those kids. And they were poor uh, uh, and, and of color. So I thought the way to give a real general picture of what was going on through two children at that time, I'd have to give it through the points of view of four different children. So Ana Miguel, Sulema, and Juan are black, white, rich, very rich, and very poor. And these stories in the book, it helps the young generation, the younger people, when they read this also, to put themselves in their in the character's shoes. How important yes, that's is that ex- for, yes. for your mission? Yes, yes, that's exactly the point. I think that nowadays we, we're kind of letting kids down a lot, meaning we can't protect them in schools as much as we'd like to. We uh, can't help them get into community colleges. We can't give them a break on their educational uh, debt. Uh, but what we can do, or what I can do, is I can give them stories, and, and, and stories do have a way of empowering you. Uh, I uh, looked to stories as a little girl when my world would get overwhelmed or overwhelming to me, and I would read stories of other little girls, and they, they were so different from me because there were no stories about Puerto Ricans or New Yorkans <laughs> at that time. I, you know, I was reading Nancy Drew and Beverly Clearly books, and they, they, these are all white middle-class stories. But when the girls prevailed and won, I thought, well, you know, I can do something like that. So I'm hoping that kids read about Ana Miguel Sulema and Huang and think, Whoa, I got sixth grade. They had to deal with Fidel Castro and did it. I can do whatever I have to do here in my own world. Once again, talking to the true legend, Sonia Mazzano, talking to us about her amazing new book, Coming Up Cuban. As we mentioned before, this gives us, the the readers, a, a window to look into to really understand how the revolution affected young people in Cuba. But... You're also known for many other things. I had to squeeze that in. 
I mean, uh-huh. we all know you from Sesame Street. We had an amazing run on that amazing program. You are known for recently Alma's Way. If you share with others, what was your uh, mission for your legacy that you hope people can see when they look at your amazing work? I- I'm hoping that with Alma's Way, which is my latest television project, I love television, and I'm glad that I'm still doing television, that the, that the legacy is, wow, you know, after Sonny Manzano did Alma's Way, there were so many other shows about oh, so many different kids. There was uh, Lebanese shows, and there, <laughs> there was, uh, you know, Argentinian shows, and wow, she really kind of, you know, was the first one of many shows that were like that. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, that that's my legacy. I, I always loved to, I loved it as a kid. I loved it when I was you know, watching it in the South Bronx and I didn't see anybody like me and I still loved it. It's very powerful uh, and I'm happy to still be participating in it and uh, uh, hope people take it to heart and and, uh, and watch. Be careful about what they're producing for children. Once again, two honor talking to Miss Sonia Mazzano. Man, if you had an opportunity to say something to young people who might hear this, to encourage them to dream bigger than big and and not just use education as an opportunity, but to really push themselves and believe in themselves. What would you say to the young I would I would say have have faith in themselves. Alma's way is about thinking. And uh, the idea came to me because so many kids have to be are tested or they have to memorize or they're in overcrowded classrooms or they can't speak English. And they think that because they can't memorize and they can't pass tests, that they're not smart. Well, Alma's way is showing the thought process and saying, no, you could think. No matter what the situation is, you could think and you could figure things out if you put two and two together from your own point of view. And uh, I think that uh, kids don't trust themselves. They don't trust that they could do it. And they really, really can uh, if they look at their world and trust the way they see things as being the way things are. Once again, two honor talk to Sonia Mazzano, 15-time Emmy Award winner, Sonia Mazzano, and her amazing book, Coming Up Cuban, Rising Past Castro. Shout out, I want to say thank you again for taking time your busy schedule talking to us today. Y- you bet. Thank you.